I'm here to speak about champion minded. What is champion minded? Well, champion minded is about being excellent not only on the court, but in life too. Champion minded starts with having a vision. That's where it all starts. I can remember being a kid back when I was 10, 11 years old, wanting to be a champion athlete. I first started, I first started out wanting to be a professional tennis player. So already at that age, I had this vision of playing at US Open, Wimbledon, all the big tournaments. I wrote motivational quotes above my bed. I would visualize myself being there. In fact, just a few months back, I uh, wrote a book called Champion Minded. And already three or four years ago, I had envisioned the cover for that book. I envisioned a gold trophy. I envisioned the word champion in gold and the word minded on there as well. Champion Minded involves eight elements. The first one is how we act. And I just want to remind you, this is not only about being on the court. This is about, being, uh, this is about a lifestyle as well. The attitude we choose. Every morning we wake up, we can choose our attitude. Now, the first one is how we act. How do we want to present ourselves? Not only on the, again, not only on the court, but in general life. The way we walk, the way we talk, the way we dress, the way we speak to others. These are all important ways of being champion, not only uh, on the sports field, but in life too. The second one is how we live, our lifestyle habits. Are we healthy? Are we investing in ourselves, uh, not only in our game, but in knowledge as well? Are we interested in improving ourselves each day? So it's how we live. Our third point is how we look, how we present ourselves, the way we dress, the way we present ourselves on the court. In fact, over 67% of communication comes through how we look, our body language, what we're wearing, for example. And that doesn't mean you have, you have to have loads of money or the best brands to look great, but looking presentable. In fact, Coach Wooden spoke about the importance of looking presentable on the court. He wouldn't let his players onto the court unless they had tucked in shirts and they looked presentable. So how we look is an important part of being champion-minded. The, the uh, fourth element is how we think. Are we champion-minded in our thoughts? Again, when we wake up in the morning, we get to choose our attitude. Are we starting with gratitude, first of all, what we're thankful for? Because that's a great way to start the day. But how we think, how we think under adversity, how we think under pressure, how we think um, when things are going wrong. Uh, in fact, Tony Robbins, the motivational uh, uh, a speaker once said, the most successful people in the world are problem solvers, not problem makers. And that comes down to the way we think. Number five, the way we prepare. And let me tell you right now, confidence comes down to preparation. Like walking into that exam room and being prepared for that test, you feel confident. And when you prepare, when you practice hard, when you know you've given your best effort, you can walk onto that court or onto that field or wherever it may be, feeling confident and ready and just letting it happen. I know working with some of the best athletes in the world, they know they've prepared well, well and then they just leave it out in the court. Of course, at, at first, they're a little bit nervous. That's normal. Nerves are good. But preparation equals confidence. So that was the fifth one, prepare. Number six, how we compete. And how you compete comes down to the habits you've created on the practice court or how you, or the habits you have even at home. Something as simple as spilling the milk or slamming your finger in the door. How you respond to that. Those little habits and those little, those little traits are how we deal with adversity. So Competing really comes down to an image, walking out there confident, knowing you've prepared. Again, that body language, that persona. Number seven, are you committed? It's our commitment. That's what, that's what our results come down to. How committed to you are, are you to the way you act, the way you look, the way you live, the way you prepare, the way you com compete? How committed are you to those things? Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to determine your results. 
And number eight, which is one of the most important ones, is how we communicate. Communication being the key, uh, being able to accept feedback. Are you coachable? Not only on the court from your coach, but uh, or maybe you might be a coach yourself. Are you coachable as a coach or as a human being? Are you coachable in life, wanting to learn more, being a lifelong learner, investing in yourself every single day? So those eight again, how we act, how we, how we live, how we look, how we prepare, how we compete, how we commit, and how we communicate. Those are vitally important things. I want to tell you today that being champion-minded is not about being talented. Champion-minded is about the choices you take, the habits you build, the attitude you choose, the gratitude you have, the way you you, uh, accept failure and how you respond to it. That is what being champion-minded is all about. In fact, one of the players I worked with, Kevin Anderson, reached the U.S. Open final as an example of a player that that had, we all need talent, we all need skills, but let me tell you right now, he doesn't have as much as a lot of those other guys, but he has a champion-minded mindset. He works hard, he puts extra effort in, he does what it takes to be a champion. Another thing is we need to have a vision. Getting back to what I started, we need to have a vision, but most importantly, we need to have purpose. When I sit down with an athlete, I ask them, first of all, what their purpose is. And they might tell me, I want to win an Olympic medal, I want to win nationals, whatever it might be. And I say, no, 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 those are your goals. What is your purpose in life? Because that is the one that's going to motivate you longer and further. Because goals can be fleeting, goals can be temporary, but your purpose in life is the most important thing. And of course, finding your passion, that what you love to do. Because when you find your passion and you work hard of it, you're going to be successful. Finding a job that only has money, that's temporary. You might not be happy, but finding your passion, finding your purpose, and working hard, that is how you're going to find success and happiness. And I think that's my message today, is that champion-minded is about choosing the mindset, the lifestyle that you want to lead. And all those things flow onto the court, flow into your relationships, flow into your, your workplace. The choices that you take are the most important things. So be champion-minded.